Hi guys, Sid here, and uh, welcome to uh, a kind of a continuation of, but not quite a continuation of, new series. Um, we are in Parcel 31U's, or Parcel 31U's, sorry, that's generic, watched his and he keeps on referring to his Parcel as his, like Pascal. Uh, <laughs> um, material Energy Hypercubed. Um, we started with Material Energy, uh, material energy Cubed. Uh, and obviously this came out, I polled everybody on my channel update and the overwhelming uh, vote was for playing this. Now we are in a little box and you can think with this guy, Parcel is, he loves hiding things anywhere. I don't think there is anything in this. This is just like the spawn area. So if if there isn't, if there is something in here, it is well hidden. So what we got? We got a chest. We got a cargo quest book. We've got a ME4 book. We've got a basic reward bag, a quarter heart. We have got some fantasy box. We have got buttons. Uh, oh, I'll take them all. Sorry. We've got Tomaz M's artistic brush. Now I'm assuming that Tomaz M is someone who is artistic. Uh, hence his brush. And we've got some quest books uh, named after Lord Dusk, uh, Newcastle Geek, and Vasquez. Uh, okay, right, let's have a look. We have a look in the book. Uh, with all the dirt creepers and dirt withered away from my chemicals, I will travel to the end, use my poly tool on the dragon portal, blah blah blah. Now I gaze into the black hole in front of me, I see my eyes staring back. Caught in a place I never thought I'd be, the edge of space and time, everything's changed, getting closer to home seems like a luxury I can no longer afford. My only desire is to escape this place and free me from the whirling infinite beyond me. Preamble over, we've got, uh, we're not hardcore mode so we don't have to worry about lives, we've got a bunch of things, we've got reputation, we're in the latest version now, uh, and we've got lost in space, the first mission is to get a compass and a clock. And if you read that, read the book book, uh, Material Energy Cubed, artwork by Thomas M, rules none. To start the map, simply place a button on the diamond block and press it. Simple enough, we can do that. We And here we are. We're in something. Uh, we should have a look what's, what we get out of this reward bag actually as well. Oh, Mumbo Jumbo's Comparator. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of YouTuber references in this. So we've got ineffable glass around us. We, we, I can't get that from there. Um, which I've never come across ineffable glass. I'm presuming it's similar to the uh, things we've got uh, a walkway area with nothing immediately apparent on it. Water above us, water below us, and what appears to be a hunking great big room and. That is a chest. Spatial log, compass, and clock. So let's get you claim that reward. That's a red heart canister, reward bag, and a portable scanner. I have got no idea what that does. There's a travel anchor directly below me, standing on the travel anchor, and looking around should reveal other locations to teleport to. All I need is to look at those destinations and jump. Uh, render distance 4, uh, I can't imagine not playing on anything even close to render distance 4, let's equip that, let's have a look at our reward bag, what we get, a stone dagger, uh, it's got sharpness, uh, stone bound, uh, modifies emerald, mod anti-spider, oh it's got, so it's basically anti-spider and quartz, it's got sharpness one hasn't it, and then we've got this portable scanner, which I have got no idea what that does. So, there's a chest down there, and that looks to be the the thing. I bet there's nothing. Is it worth looking around in here, I wonder? Eh, we can always come back. What we got in here, then? Mystery arrow. Everyone loves a cookie. Sugar cane seeds. Cookies. Useful. Cactus seeds. Ender market. No idea what that does. Red stain clay. And a golden egg which I really don't want but we'll take anyway so this must be the uh, object we're looking for we visited it we get a yetta wrench which again completely new allows me to muck around with conduit facades to break machines and conduit shift right click shift 
conduit open settings, shift mouse wheel or Y to render a single conduit type. Okay, so let's have a look what's next. Travelling around. Quick check of my surroundings to get me centred, a task where the player has to reach one or more locations. So chemical reactor. Let's have a look, what can we, if we stand on this. Spatial I.O. Can't see what that is, let's go over there. Where are we? We are reactor chain. Oh, big reactor. Yep. Uh, okay, so we've got big reactor. It's doing things and generating some RF. Wonderful. Uh, I think big reactor has been visited. We've got some other stuff going on around here. Now I know there are. If we come back out of here, there are secrets and there are the trophies. Um, and that's a zombie. I will not be breaking that because I haven't got a pick, so I won't be doing. Uh, doing that but this is it's quite a dark area actually this one but visually it's this Z tones no idea mods that we're not familiar with of course we're in 1.7.10 as well which is things that must be the the big wet thing we're in so anything over that way la 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 nothing really happening around here very large chamber there that must be the spatial chamber let's go and jump over somewhere else and have a look but this is really quite pretty uh okay what we've got spatial io uh let me get back to my traveling around so any chemical reactors victory monument right so the victory monument is there um, not entirely sure exactly what we've got lots of these uh, this is the bib new bibliocraft with the sword pedestals which is pretty sweet gassed wall so that's the walls uh, we should have now done that and we've got something else over there and if I remember rightly I think when I was watching generic yeah there's another there's a bat trophy hello bat of course it's always a bit of a pain when you've watched somebody else and then you come and do a pack and yada yada but trophies so that's for our trophy so I don't think there's any particular order for that what else we got then spatial IO victory monument chem lab Bow. so the chem lab it's 12 meters away so whoop, what we got big dark room again uh, this is the chemical fusion chamber so mine chem has changed significantly I uh, don't know what this is tungsten plating chemical fission chamber don't know whether there's any further up there is a big room ah there's another trophy up there uh, and I think I think we can fall off of here yes we can but we'll not do that hello skeleton trophy uh, right, let's get back down, because what we've got left to do, the observatory. Master, please come to the observatory. Reactor, spatial IO, victory monument. Right, let's jump over there. Chem lab. Ah, there we go. I think uh, this is it. We just need to... How do we get, how do we do this? Observatory. What's that up there then? So here we have, I think this will be the the main crux of the thing. We've got chest in here with another core log. What are these anyway? Sky tone, sky stone chests. Uh, pulverizer, redstone furnace, sag mill. No idea what that is. Or an alloy smelter. That must be another mop. Well, ender IO. So that's another one to learn whole bunch of things whole bunch of other things and some oh, we'll have that Bonk. some other things we'll, we'll take one of them I don't know whether I'll use them and then a whole bunch of applied energy stick stuff no idea I want the impulse plate thermal expansion some power and crafting benches and then over here 
will be the, so again we've got ineffable glass and we've got this rather splendid looking, what's this made? Laboratory block, so this is the new blocks in chisel. And we've got to be said these are really nice. And we've got a little bit of, that must be the old how the old spatial I.O. works now. Um, right, let's have a look. Have we uh, have we completed all of those? Yep, so we get a crazy pants magnet. System core, we've got that. Uh, multimeter, we'll claim that. Spatial I.O. 64. Spatial I.O. Uh, oh, we go. Spatial I.O. Visitor. There's another reward bag. Which gives us 15 reactor casings. Actually, that's not too bad. What the hell's that then? Pulls nearby items towards you. But we need to charge it. And I haven't seen anything that even looks like it. Oh, man, look at this. This is just so sexy. <laughs> and just the... Um, the access panels now, you know, these um, inclusion chamber in there. So that's all looking pretty good. What is next? Now, oh, we've opened up a whole lot of things. So we need the inclusion chamber. So this metal on the floor with no other sound. Filling the space around with my presence. An empty vessel in a boat I sail across the seas to an unknown shore. How very poetic. Uh, so I suppose what we're going to have to do is pop that in there and give it a click and then we need to go to where are you observatory ah, and there we go here's our first chamber let me get some uh, in fact eat a cookie nom 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 um so yeah this is our first spatial chamber and um, we've got a whole load of badness down there. Sounds like some badness down there, but that should be the centre, I believe. So we can claim that one. And that gives us the red room, the green room, sky stone, compressed resources, secrets, lapis and ghastly wool. So these are all obviously things we need to do in here. Um... Let's have a look what we got. Rail, rail, and a dropper. Hmm. My inventory is going to become very messy very quickly. Let's do the green room. Are we clean? We appear to be clean. What's under here? Oh, we'll have that. Uh, and we'll have plus five or plus four. Well, the wooden sword might as well come in here. Uh, and we've got a protection for potato. Uh, we'll leave that for now. I oh, know, I can right click that stuff on. So, what have we got? Green room. It wants four of these Kiparis wood, which is... This is Ancient Trees mod. And again, I have no idea. So, let's just grab... What is it? Four, four planks. Uh, four actual wood. So starting us off nice and easy, um, so far fairly straightforward, what shall well, we get all of them, we don't need to click pick, saplings, fertiliser, flint axe and a slime hatchet, okay, fertiliser and a flint pickaxe, so that's the green room done which gives us the ability to get into tools and weapons let's go and have a look at the red room wants some redstone alloy which again these mods are all well they're not all completely new to me quite a few of them are familiar but there's uh, there's definitely areas outside of this inclusion chamber as well aren't they to uh, investigate we so the red room uh, nothing obviously hidden in here, but what we've got is a lot of red stuff, which we'll need to pick up. Everything in here is red, apart from the torches, in fact. Pardon me. So, let me get you handed in. 
I can't because I've got a full inventory. Let's go and deal with that a bit. And uh, well, I'm just going to go and empty my inventory to these chests over here and I'll be back in a moment while I check how long I've been going. Okay, now we can claim this reward bag. It is another basic and it is a bone excavator. Actually, that's pretty useful or potentially useful anyway. Uh, so we've got a few tools. Let me just put you up there. Uh, and the axe there. Uh, let's have a look what's next then. So we've done the red, we've got that compressed resort. Let's get this one done because this is pretty easy. I'm going to go and harvest these trees. Get some wood going, some wood technology. Um, and once we've got that we should be able to at least make a start on on that quest and have a look at some of the other stuff so I'll be back in a moment. Okay we've got a few of the basics, uh, we've got the wood harvested and planted some saplings let them grow in their own time, I haven't bothered with fertiliser this time around. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion this is probably going to be where we end up doing a lot of our work. So let's get this underway. Uh, we'll make a bunch of patterns. That should be enough eight. Uh, we need a crafting bench with a pattern on it. We need a log with a pattern on it. And we need a piece of wood with a pattern on it. And that should allow me that. So what we're going to go for, I'm going to go for the black steel I think on that. So we'll claim the reward. We'll get these, where are we? Let's have a look. Stencil, in fact, while I'm at it, let's um, let's do a full set, shall we? And make a pattern chest while we're at it as well. Um, sure, I think, hmm, for want of a better place, we can go with, what do we want? Uh, stencil that. Let's get these down. Yeah, we'll do, I think. Stencil, part builder, tool station, chest. And we can stick our stencils in there. Um, what I'm going to do straight off the bat is, I think we should be able to, oh, can we upgrade that? Swap the parts out, we can, good. So we'll upgrade that, and that's now got a durability of 120. That gives it reinforced 2. So we'll upgrade the that, and we'll stick the 1.4 handle modifier on, just so we've got a half-decent pick. Um, we can make... What have we got here? So you've got a slimy thingy, but you are... What are you made out of? Materials, control. Bone, bone, bone and bone. That's not too bad. That's a wooden thing. So let me come over here and we're going to make a sword blade pattern. And we're going to make a... Uh, da, 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 a axe head pattern. Oops, we'll have that as well. Stick those in the pattern chest. And we can make a flint sword blade and a flint axe head. Oh, I can't repair that though, can I? Damn it. That's not going to upgrade. Okay, no worries. Because I haven't got anything, I haven't got slimy to do anything. But at least we can up that from plus five to plus six, and its durability is a little bit better. Anything else we can do worthwhile? I don't think so. So let's have a look at the quest book. So we got that. Tool forge, we're nowhere anywhere near that. Plan of attack, ah, wooden shield, yeah. So this has got dual wielding in it. Um, so we can make a wooden shield, which is just like that. And if we go into here, 
Now it doesn't like the broadsword for that and I don't know why. But we can put a shield on there and put our dagger on there and we need to, let me just go into options, controls, that is, uh, here we go, draw weapons. Let's try setting that to C. So if I go to C now, we can get into dual wielding and we got ch 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 This is quite, I like that. Um, yeah, let me just put those. I'm not sure what the uh, cycle command is yet, but we've got this going on here. So attack and block, attack and block. And you'll see the little uh, charge bar down. That's how long. So once we, we go block, 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 and then once it's full, we can't block anymore. So, yep, that's that. But I don't know why I can't dual wield on the broadsword. Maybe it's a two-handed thing. I don't know. Uh, anybody got any ideas? Do let me know. So let's have a look. We've got that. We can claim that one. Oh, that gives us a stone longsword. Which we can pop into there. We can't put tools in there for some reason, which is a shame. No, no not want to do any. But it gets a, a few inventory slots once we've figured out exactly how it's working. Uh, and then we've got spikes and it wants iron spikes. And it's going to give a diamond, a gold, ten wood and three iron. Hmm can defend against mobs coming out of spatial areas or using mob farm traps but we're nowhere near that can't do that let's go and have a quick peek at this this is the ladder in the center of the inclusion chamber leads down to a small compression storage room that is filled with mobs however these resources are very valuable uh, <laughs> excuse me sir Oh well, uh, that didn't work quite as planned, but we didn't die, so that's always a plus. Let's have a look then. So this is where we get into our first mob encounter. Oh, uh, yep. And, yeah, we get a few mobs, but hey, bugger off. Let's just light this up a little bit and then... Yeah, you missed. Ah, I'm going to miss again if I don't. Ah, got it. These guys look beast with this quiver on. It has to be said, we'll have to just kite these out, I think. Just have a quick snack. And let's... Light that up a bit better. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Get dead. I think we're safe. Let's turn F7 on and get this uh, spawn, spawn proof, shall we? So this is compress compressed resources, is it? That's that seemed to be faster actually. So I'm going to dig all this lot up and I'll be back with you in a mo. Okay, this is what I mean about parcel, he's a tricksy bugger. Um, we have dug up all the, um, the compressed resources there. Get rid of that zombie flesh up there a second. And look, we've got dense coal ores. So this is from the dense, dense ores mod, I believe, which seems to kind of make sense. So, that's the uh, the one little surprise you find in there. But then you've got this guy stone chest. And we've got a paper sword blade. There, a slimy sword blade. A Certus Quartz large sword blade, which we can only make those with the things. Uh, another paper sword blade. Do they stack? They do. Another obsidian sword blade. And... Uh, doesn't do a lot in terms of damage and a iron reinforced barge sword blade then we've got basic reward bag and a basic reward bag so 
Ooh, some reactor stuff and some more bone meal always handy uh, and we should be good to turn this in which gives us a triple compressed cookie and a reward bag well we're not good to turn it in because of course our inventory oh dear don't want to leave anywhere on uh, fingers not playing ball there anywhere unlit <coughs> pardon me so that means if that creeper was in there that means there must be spawnable spots down here as well there are you crafty bugger so yeah what we've got is a whole load of nice resources again let me just clear a bit of inventory so we can hand this this in uh, anything uh, we can just you know, nothing there uh, we'll just stick this lot in here. What do we get there anyway? Gravel, dirt, and sand. No cobble or anything though, which is a bit disconcerting. Get rid of the flint, get rid of the bones, arrows. I mean, look at the inventory here, and it's just insane already. So we'll claim that reward, which gives us a triple compressed cookie. Now, this is. Um, you can make double compressed cookies, nine cookies makes a cookie, and so on and so forth. So. Bookshelves, bookshelves, books, and a slotted book. Title, this, what the hell is a slotted book when it's at home? We'll have to look that one up as well. God, there's so much stuff to look up on this. So that's that. Um, so we've got secrets and... Got this one here which is the once all of these lapis thingies lapis serelstis rufus I'm gonna get so slater for my pronunciation of these uh, in fact I'm not gonna bother ghastly wool uh, nothing else open up there at the moment so there's secrets and sky stone to do I think we're probably coming fairly close to uh, the end of this one, but there is a one to point out there is a bake to win option. Uh, and it's like, it wants a compressed cookie for that. Now, if you recall in the previous material energy, material energy cubed, you had a pay to win, which was money, uh, and you got that. But we've got the currency of choice here is cookies. So we can claim that, and then we can go for a double compressed cookie which is if I've got enough have I got enough six not quite but if I uncompress that that's a compressed cookie oh maybe 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 double compressed cookie yeah we've got that one which gives us nine compressed cookies and then we've got a triple compressed cookie which, if I go and get the double compress cookie and recompress that, that gives us nine double compressed cookies. And then it wants quadruple compressed cookie, which of course is going to be nine. Oh god, I've got so many compressed cookies, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Cookies, triple compressed, double compressed. Let me just break that back down and we'll have that kind of thing going on which is obviously nine a lot more compressed cookies and that brings us up here we also get uh, we can give them five double compressed cookies for a reward bag is it five double yeah let's manual submit we'll claim that one that is a repeatable uh, we've got cookie seeds so we obviously got some mine chem stuff going on here cookie jar the compressed cookies will give me a uh, well, there you go claim that one that gives us a triple or well, three of those will give us a brewing stand and so on and so forth I'm not going to do all of those right now I'm just going to uh, what we've got two basics and a good oh cactus matic a whole bunch of glass and a cooking pan of the warrior of warrior felix what the hell? Plus five attack damage. 
and knock back 50. That's plus 6 with Jesus. These <laughs> these are some seriously badass um, tools there. Anyway, guys, I think that's probably going to call us on that particular episode. We've got to do some more in the Lost in Space. Oh, the other one here, Community Spatial Areas. Um, it basically, Community Spatial Areas are made by other people other than me. Want to make your own, go to this URL and you can add, you can send them off. And obviously, if they're good enough, they will end up in the pack. I may even do one myself, who knows. A seat of cookie. So on that note, I will uh, bid you farewell, and I will see you next time. And until then, bye for now.